What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, so my focus right now has been perfecting this wall. Like, this is really all I care about right now in perfecting. I, I feel like whenever you're doing something, you should really focus on one thing at a time because it gets too difficult and you can't focus on one thing if you're not doing the other. You know, like before us focusing on my horse setup, getting Freddy and Jason, before that was Underworld. And now I'm really trying to perfect the Alien and Predator wall. Now, and I want to, there's certain things I want to add and there's things I feel like I could take away from this wall. Uh, so for one, I feel like I need to expand and get more space. So I feel like I need to take away some of the Terminator. Now, here's my thought process. I'm thinking of moving Arnold with his half bust over into the random movies section. He It fits theme-wise, and it will look good. It doesn't necessarily need to be by all my endos. This could just be an endoskeleton somewhat corner. I want to sell that. I don't think it's necessary. I have the half scale, which I'm extremely happy with. I have a bust, and I have the pure art. So I'm throwing this bad boy up for sale also to help fund uh, some things that I want to put here instead. So this is the exclusive. The exclusive is actually this nameplate. I, I put it right here on the bus because I like it there. Uh, but that is the exclusive. Uh, seems like the exclusive, I forget what the edition says. Is I swear it's really low. Anyways, I'll sell this bad boy for $800. Uh, and then shipping, you know, plus whatever shipping is. This is exclusive, zero damage, all light ups work, eyes and base. Uh, so the regular sells for about 800 on eBay. So this is the exclusive, which I think is limited to 200, I swear. So endoskeleton maquette, 800 bucks plus shipping. PM me on Instagram, flankster117. Email flanksterbysell at gmail.com. Now there is a few things, like I said, I really want to add to this wall that I feel would make this 100% perfect for me. So two things are going to be happening. One, I'm going to buy a life-size alien head. I got that, which is freaking phenomenal, but I do want one more full-scaled alien head. I feel like I do need it uh, to truly have an ultimate alien predator wall. And so looking at all the available options out there, I've come to the conclusion I want the Alien Covenant head. Alien Covenant is my second favorite Aliens movie. I love the Xenomorph from that movie. Looking at the Cool Props bust, uh, that is the one that A is available and B uh, seems to have the best paint job. And I think it looks really well done. Uh, so I've gone ahead and ordered that because uh, it's a low edition size. It's harder to get once sold out. So I've already ordered that and it's on its way. It's 33 inches wide by 15 inches deep or 15 inches deep and high. It, so it's just really long. It's not super tall. It's not super deep. So, you know, these shelves are 24 inches deep. And then I have like, you know, 34 inches height space inside. So, I mean, clearly it could fit like right there. To there, but then it feels like a lot of lost space. I'm not 100% sure if I want to do it that way or have it angled like this. Ideally, I still think, and I want to do the alien egg right here with the chest burster and then maybe do the xenomorph head somewhere else. I've thought about changing this shelf out for another garage shelving, but I do want it taller because I like these two taller. You know, I don't necessarily want them lower per se. You know, especially because if it was lower, freaking this guy would be blocking him and I can't have that. So it needs to stay this height, like 50 inches high. So I'd have to get a garage shelf that, let's say, is 18 inches deep by 55 inches height. And the reason I'd want that garage shelf is to have that space like this. So, for example, I could do two layers. I could do, like, the xenomorph head and then... I mean, technically, I could. It's kind of difficult because I don't want to. I'm never selling that. I can move that, but I don't know where I would move that. I mean, ideally, I would say right here where he's at, but then where the F would I move him? I mean, obviously, he could go in there, but then I'm going to be getting, you know, eventually Ghost Face and Leather Face. 
unless they look terrible, which is highly doubtful. I mean, PCS will take in customer feedback and fix anything. If they look absolutely horrible, like I, and, the, and that's final, then yeah, I could move him inside there, put endo bus there, and then make this entire wall truly all alien predator. It's a difficult one because ideally I don't want to do any terminator on this wall. I'm fine having the half scale endo there. And I'm fine moving Arnold, but that bust is quite difficult. Because in a perfect world, I would remove that, do a garage shelf, have two tiers. One tier like this where I have the Alien Covenant head. Underneath it would be possibly something alien themed, either the face hugger and chest burster or the alien egg. You know, I'll keep the fugitive bust, but I also still want to get the life-size wolf bust. I would love to get that. So I'd love to get that as well, somehow fit that in this whole setup. Have two life-size predator busts, two life-size alien heads, meaning the covenant and that. I think that would be freaking sick. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I think uh, step one, selling this. Step two, removing Arnold and then figuring out how I can display that endo bust and fit the alien covenant head. See, I don't know if I could fit the alien covenant head with the egg and the chest burster in this display. If I could, that would be great. I don't want it to look cluttered. I want everything to look nice and clean. I'm not doing cluttered look. I hate that. You know, so I'm going to make it look clean, but I do want to get the alien egg, the covenant head, and the wolf bust. So... I'm definitely going to get those. I got to figure shiz out to determine how I'm going to do this. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to throw in a comment down below, uh, you know, on what you think would be the best route. I'm going to look at a bunch of different garage shelving to see how it could work. You know, something that would be 55 inches height, uh, like 44 inches width, 18 inches depth. And I could do one layer that's maybe 20 inches height space. And then the other, I mean, if you could do it 30 inches, that could be perfect. So then I could actually probably fit, you know, a predator bust underneath. If I could do a predator bust, like, heck, even move that right there with Alien Covenant. And then do the wolf bust right there, and then keep that the egg with the face hugger and chest burster, that could work amazing. That potentially could be an option if it could fit. I don't know if that would fit though. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna look into different options. So I do wanna get this sold though, uh, to help fund the alien egg. And I'll move Arnold tomorrow, it's already late. So I'll move Arnold. I need to figure out how I can display that endo bust. Ideally, I mean, the Meyer spot is so perfect for that endo bust because I know it fits with the arm on that shelf. And it'd be bust next to bust. It would work and look really good. It's just moving Meyers. I mean, he can obviously fit here. If I moved Lord of Darkness, I don't want to sell Lord of Darkness. I love that statue. And I don't know where else I could display Lord of Darkness that would look good either. So it's it gets to be a tricky one, no doubt. You know, it makes me wonder if I should uh, change out some shelving for more garage shelving to do one-thirds underneath. You know, it's like I have plenty of height space here at the Underworld if I change that shelf out. But then it wouldn't match these shelves and it might look weird. And I got the one-fourth Underworld. It's a tricky one, folks. You know, my mind's always rolling trying to improve the display. And I feel like getting the Alien Covenant head, the Alien Egg, making this entire wall similar shelving with nothing but high-end, you know, one-thirds up top. And then life-size busts and props underneath would be just freaking perfect. I feel like that would be the best route for Alien and Predator. You know, even... Uh, removing this poster and doing the prime one alien queen uh wall mount statue and then all one thirds and then all life-size busts and props and you know like the face hugger chest burster alien egg alien covenant head wolf bust fugitive bust 
then in my mind, it would be perfect. Just like my Freddy and Jason setup, I feel is perfect right now. I got everything I want, except for the custom Jason mask. That's what I'm waiting on. Anyways, folks, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to drop a comment below. I do read and look at every single comment. And if anyone's interested in this Terminator maquette, throw me an offer. Uh, Instagram, flankster117 or flankstersell at gmail.com. I know where the box is at. We can get shipped same day. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.